Let's talk about how you can make some awesome Neo Brutalist designs super easy in Kittle. Now, first off, Neo Brutalism is pretty easily distinguishable based off of its eye catching fonts, its colors, its clean lines and strokes around objects, as well as its boxes. It's almost like it's compartmentalizing things and putting things in a structured box order. This style may seem or look intimidating at first, but actually having this structure, these boxes is super helpful. And as long as you have some fonts and some colors to start off with, you can find yourself designing some really awesome stuff within a couple minutes. That being said, here are a couple of fonts that you can use to start off. If you want to pause this and screenshot those, feel free to do that. Here are a couple color palettes as well that can get you started. So let's dive in and make a design together. So I've got my canvas going here. This is just a 16 by 20. I've seen this style done a lot, specifically just in posters and advertisements and stuff like that. So 16 by 20 is a, is a nice four by five ratio that we can work with for this kind of project. As you can see on the left hand side, I have those fonts that I mentioned just ready to go that I can try at different times to see if I like one over the other. And I also have some colors right here that I've picked as well that are just fun and bright that I know can print. That's important if you're going to print it, make sure that they are in CMYK, that they are actually printable. It's nothing worse than making a design with a really, really bright color that feels super, super good. And then you can't print it because it literally is RGB and you can't print that color. So yeah, I have these colors ready to go. I think I want the background color to be this pink. We're going to do that. And we have to have some sort of concept for me to uh, showcase this. So I'm just gonna go with like a pizza party concept. And looking at these fonts, I think I like this one down here the most at the moment. And I'm gonna change that color to black. And then we could put it in all caps and say pizza, if I could spell it right, pizza, put it somewhere like there. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. And I think I want this to be colorful as well. So I'm gonna change it to my yellow color, but I definitely need to add that classic stroke around the text. Very, very thin stroke. Maybe just a little bit more, something like three. Looks really, really good. Open that letter spacing just a tad. That's really, really nice. And then I'm thinking about having like pizza at the top and then party down at the middle. And then obviously, I said another characteristic is that it's very boxy and things like to have their space. So we can add some lines and some different boxes and some elements, maybe a date and time and a fake location to kind of bring this alive. So I'm gonna put party down here. So one thing that I've already run into is that this text when typed out is larger than this and is almost to the edges and, and we don't like that. And I'm not gonna make these two different font sizes. I don't really like the look of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select both of these and size them down to where the larger text falls where I want it. And then I can put this guy over here, maybe keep them in the middle. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add some lines to box these guys off. Put that one there, change the color to black. May need to open that up just a little bit. We kinda want it to reflect the stroke of the text as far as how thick it is. Looking closer to tad more. Yeah, that looks good and I'm gonna copy and paste that down here at the bottom. Cool, looking good so far. I might not stick with it. We'll see, we'll just see. I kind of want to make this section down here a different color. So if I make this yellow and put this to the back, I could turn on my trim view for a second. And what might be cool is if I reflect this up here, but make it that orange. Yeah, now it's starting to look kind of fun and groovy, really sticking into that retro neo style and i'm just going to bring these shapes over so that they're not just tapering over the edge unnecessarily so something like that is already looking super cool uh, i think it's pretty appropriate for me to have a slice of pizza and uh one of the things that I, you may have noticed from the references that i definitely notice is that all of these uh images these illustrations are very simplistic basic shapes and so i think that i'm going to try to make a slice of pizza from just some of my basic shapes here. So let's take like this guy and maybe a triangle 
there, size this guy up so I know where he's at and then turn this around. And I may wanna stretch this out just a tad. And let's make the crust this orange color, put that guy in front and then obviously this is cheese. So we're gonna do that. And then what's the stroke on this is 2.91. So let's see what that looks like as a starting point. It's a little thick so we can back that off probably. We're just trying to get it as close as possible. It doesn't have to be exact, but just when you zoom out, you want things to look relatively the same. So you're gonna add that same stroke here, 1.31. 1. There we go. Now we need some pepperoni, so maybe I just go grab some circles, place them on here, random order, whatever, doesn't matter. Just something that looks semi-even, but not too even. It'll also help if we go ahead and change the colors of these as well. What I should have done is deleted this and applied the stroke to the first one, and then I can copy them, and it'll just already have the stroke on all of them. That's a smarter way to do it. So something like that, looking pretty fun and cool. So I like the look of that. We're going to grab this guy, and let's say we put them in a little box up here. And I need to up the border weight on all of these now that I've sized it down. So I've got my border weight back to normal here. And we're just gonna put this guy in a little box. So I'm gonna take this. Let's say we put this right here. Make sure he's in the center here. Then I'm gonna duplicate this guy and rotate it and just send that to the back. So now we got a nice little little box for our pizza. So I kinda wanna have like a block of color right here. So I'm just gonna add that right there and then pull another basic shape over here. And it might just be like a strip of yellow or orange. We can try both and see which one we like better. Make sure that's sent to the back. Yellow looks cool. Let's see what orange looks like. Orange is nice. I'm gonna use yellow because I'm gonna try some text over it. So since these fonts are so intense and I just want to add another little blurb of text that's just kind of whatever it's more of a design element I'm not gonna go too harsh on the type of font that we use here so I might just use something like Alada that's just very simple it's slightly art deco kind of geometric close the line spacing on that I might actually space that out more see how this looks it's something like, like that looks better so I can get it to be smaller maybe more. Something like this is looking good. I wonder if I can add that same outline effect to this as well. So if I make this orange and then add a border weight to this. So that border weight is going on the inside. So what we can actually do is go to the effects panel and choose our third effect here, turn down the offset and the angle, and then we're going to add an outline width to this. And that looks way better than the first option. Now let's add something like a date. So I could copy my color block down here, size it to about here-ish. And we're just making this kind of geometric. And that means I'll need to copy this line and place it here just so we have everything blocked off and i'm going to copy my pizza text right here and what's a good date for pizza let's just say july and i actually got a good idea from this being too big to fit in this box you could do something like this close the line spacing on this maybe not that much and put that text in that box there. And then let's say 20th. And let's just make this like white. Cause I think the white with the black stroke on pink looks really, really good. And then let's just say I split this guy right here into two different sections and then have something here and something here. You could just take this guy and put like a smiley face in this box. Make sure that's center. Then I'm actually gonna copy this line Again, compartmentalize that guy. Bring this over till it reaches that point. Something like that looks really good. Another thing that I really, really like to do, I do this in a lot of different styles, is just, actually I'm gonna make this orange and then add a border weight to this. After I size it down, let's put this guy right here. Make this more of an oval shape and then we can add a border to it. I'm gonna rotate this guy and just duplicate that over to fill that space. And then I can select all of these and click this tidy button right here just to make sure that they're all equally spaced out from each other. And then I might stretch this out just so it feels even on all sides. Could also take away the orange and see how I feel about that as well. So this is without the orange and this is with the orange. So I might take away the last two, stretch that slightly over, add another box. We're just playing with lines, playing with blocks. That's all it is. Tidy this guy up right here. That might be slightly too thick. That looks better. And then I wanna add maybe a star right here. So I can search star, maybe find like one of these guys, stretch it, and I can put it at kind of like an angle. 
that looks awkward. Yeah, that looks better. Make it yellow and add my border weight to that as well. So that's starting to look really, really cool. That's coming together nicely. Need to add the border weight back because I adjusted the size. Okay, we're back. Put a little bit of charge back on my mouse. I like to think that when your mouse dies, it's time for a break. Like go take a walk or something, go get a coffee. Making sure the stroke on that is the same as those. Now we just need to find something to put in this box up here. Maybe we can add like a date or something. I like the idea, idea of maybe just making this larger here and then putting like text over it. it. Means that we may need to change this here, but we'll see. So let's take our orange text here, put this on the top, we can put like, wow. Wow, right there. And then we need to up our border weight on this, absolutely. I might do the same thing as before where I add this on the outside, actually. The smaller the text gets, the better it's going to look with the stroke on the outside of the text versus the inside. So I like that. And I'm just gonna adjust this star so that there's no awkward gaps. Something like that looks cool. But I definitely wanna change this now. I could change it to something like checker, maybe, if I could spell it right. Goodness. Could take this guy and just stretch it. Fill the space here. Yeah, that looks awesome. Does it look better in white? No. It looks better in black. Does it look better in orange? No. Maybe. Yellow. Absolutely not. See, I like black, but I feel like it pulls too much attention to that one spot. So I'm going to go with the orange. And the orange is a nice balance here. So I think that we could call this one finished. I think this is actually really, really nice. Well, that's all for this video. I hope this was super helpful. Let me know. Leave a like and a comment. If you want to see another Neo Brutalism design, let me know in the comments so I know to make that video for you. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any Kittle related content and we will see you in the next one.